Hey everyone, it's Josh. Welcome back to another episode of Psychonauts. Ooh. Finally. Yes, I am feeling much better today, thank you very much. Anyway, last time we started climbing the asylum. Today, looks like we're going to continue that. Can't quite get the Can't quite get the angle right to focus and to open the doors, so Nope. Doesn't look like it's gonna budge. Alright. Thanks, Rez. Looks like we've got no choice. We're very... And if that... If neither open... This one doesn't want to open either. It's because there's... There's the bed in the way, so... There's a chair there under that one, and there's a bed... It's stuck in that window, and as you can see, there are... Brains... In... And Clem's brain is in that one, there is no brain in this room. So that's a no-brainer. <laughs> but what we want to do is... Yes, you can use telekinesis through glass. It truly is an amazing ability. Isn't it? Not yet. Punch. There's the chair that caused us trouble, and we can't actually smash it, so... Yeet! And down we go. Clem's brain. Three cheers for brains. I didn't actually expect to land right on top of the a brain, but I'll take it. As you can see, we are only Four brains short. Bit of the entire campground's brains, so I guess we go up. I mean, there's nowhere else we can go. Out of this side. Psychard out there. Which we have. Yay. Go for a quick climb. and Mill's brain is dedicated to the ladies. This is your last warning! Go back down right now or you'll be very, very sorry! That's 
Shigo. She's on our side. Sort of, it's complicated. She's mostly on our side, but she's being forced to help the doctor. Whatever his last name is. Now well, you can guess what they required. Let's go here, is right. Yep. Invisibility. How can something as small as Vernon's brain hold so many boring stories? These brains are worthless, Shigo. <laughs> Just like the one in your head. No, no, they're nice. They're, they're nice brains, Dr. Lobato. Really? They're too nice. They won't fight. I need killers. I need angry brains. I squeeze them. I poke them. I twist them. What do I have to do to make them fight? <laughs> Maybe I should try my drill. I'm not going to bring you any more brains if you're going to be so no matter what I do? No, no matter what? Not even if I... No, don't! Not even if I no, cook no, you a little... Doctor, no! A little turtle soup? Please, Dr. Lobato, no! Hmm, a nice hot turtle soup, hmm? Hmm? Nothing better on a cold night like this than some boiling hot soup. You leave Mr. Fogarty to die! Oh, well, I'm sure he'll be all right. 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 Well, I'm sure he'll be all right.
getting around on the place. It's the way we came up, having to sneak past the doctor's bird. And that way. Which will be useful for if we want to go back to, to explore the camp in the bit. The man you're working for is a deranged lunatic. I know! I hate him! But if I don't do what he says, you he'll... he'll... Cook your little turtle from the inside out. <coughs> she your hostage situations like this are always extremely delicate. I'll have to extract Mr. Pokelope from his prison using my psychic powers. After which, this Lobato character should be fairly trivial to neutralize. Yes, because once we get Mr. Pokelope back, he'll tell us what to do. He always tells me what to do. Yes. Sasha, Mia, Lily. Raz, you came. Of course I did. We gotta get you out of here. Look! The coach must have lured Sasha and Mia here on official Psychonauts business and then ambushed them with sneezing powder. They're completely brainless. I know. I saw their brains downstairs. Listen, first things first. I was thinking about what you said about us making out. Yeah? Oh, man. I'm so glad he showed up. I was just starting to feel slightly less phlegmy. Wait! He didn't just hear. Ah! Get away from me! Stop reading my mind! Go rebrain Sasha and Mia so they can so they can help us break this lock. Okay, okay, um Now where's the, the staircase is down? I wanna double check heck, that I didn't miss anything in the flipping asylum. Not that one. Rhythm. Do we really have to go into here? Yep. Whee! Hello. Hello, fucker. I hate that guy. Leading down. this it is we're all done now next step on me uh one two huh I need to regroup back at HQ Affirmative. Prepare for extraction. Oop. And away we go. Let's go get these brains. It's back to their people. How many of them left? Yes! I got a brain! Good! Now? And that's why we have to find Lily right away! That is some crazy stuff, guys. I'm kinda glad I was out for most of it. Well, with the world ending and everything, I should probably go see what girls want to make out one last time. So I said brainer? I don't even know her! <laughs> No, I promise you, you didn't drool at all. Is Milka okay? Yeah, she's waiting for you down by the docks. Gotcha! 
Hey, do you want to help us save the... No. Okay, is making out all anyone thinks about in this place? That's a good question. But I didn't taste it, so I don't really know the answer for sure. Well, if Brain Tank come after Mikhail, it will be sorry. Better go find Tiny Boss, see what he's planning. So that's who's been kidnapping all the kids. Oh, man. I just want to burn that coach. Hey, where's Quentin? He's waiting for you in band practice. He better not be painting the wrong band name on my drums again. And so that's what happened to your brain. Wow, what an amazing story. I mean, that is a really, really good story. And you know what the best part is? I'm in it. I better go write that whole thing down before we all get killed. And that's how I earned all my merit badges. OMG! I feel so stupid for throwing myself off the roof now! What? Why did you throw yourself off the roof? Because the poison didn't work. Listen, I have to go. The world could use some major league cheering right about now. Agent Cruller? What is the current situation? I think something's... I think we're missing... I'd better go. Lots of work to do. Good think... luck, Rasputin. But I'm not quite sure what. All the brains are done. As you can see. Well, we really don't. Okay. I'm actually going to suggest we save the sidecard make making, well, side challenge marker yeah. making work a little later. Agent Nine's lab, please. With pleasure. We've still got a few things to collect. Let's tumble some brains. This is a very important brain for later. Well, a very important door for later. We'll be covering that soon enough. Okay. Black Velvetopia. As you can see, Glorious Theatre is done. As is Langfishopolis. Brain Tumbler Experiment. Mila's Dance Party. Milkman Conspiracy. What's left? Waterloo World. And Black Velvetopia. Let's go have some French fun. Not much to do here except clean up all the cobwebs, collect all the figments, and get any vaults that are left. That's the plan. Cheer up, Fred. You won the war. I know, but now I'm bored. Mind if I hang out? Sure. Just don't expect me to be very entertaining. He has very long legs. Okay, anyway. Can you believe a great battle was once fought here? On these very fields upon which you now so peacefully graze. Many men died. Some did it for money, some for country, and some did it just because they had guns. And now no one is left on the battlefields except you cows. That's deep. Crazy world, isn't it? Huh? Don't you think it's crazy? Hmm? Hey, 
I'm talking to you, Cal. We fought and died for you so you could chew your cut in peace. If it wasn't for me, you'd all be talking French right now. Shame on you, ungrateful cow. 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 Okay, okay, so they're just repeats. Yep. <laughs> oh, that was... Hi there. I don't want to fight you, so I'm just gonna... Oh, you fucker again. Right. Telekinesis and telekinesis, it is. Yeah, I don't think so. Whoop. Where are you? Bloody scoundrel! Get back here! There we go. Seventeen times. I feel so bad for Fred. He's such a whoop, nice guy. Who only try and who just tried to cheer a guy and who tried to cheer you know a lonely looking patient and so he was just doing his job and for that that is the thanks he got his ass kicked so badly at, at a game that he got that he went insane how's that fear? It is a poor guy. Not to mention he got, got his job stolen. And by the... The guy that it beat. Even less fear. Oh, really? <laughs> okay, we need there's one more there. We need to get a little higher to get that next one, though. Nope. And you are not involved.
That was pathetic. That was actually pathetic. See the last one. The mains. Can't quite get to it. Not from this angle. Maybe I'm gliding a little or too soon, not at like the peak of my jump. Jump or something. Whoa! That was unexpected. Yes! There we go! Bum, bum, bum. Nope. Say bye bye. Completely missed that. We'll go after that in a second once I get this last pigment. Peak of the jet. Yeah, peak. That's not what I had in mind. I mean, honestly. Alright, quick stretch.
weapon power up. Pretty sure it's a weapon power up. Why was I running back into war? Fuck. Why do I keep you doing that? I run that away from where I'm trying to go. It's stupid. Wrong way. Thank you, Rez. Oh. I guess what I have to do is jump off and then immediately hit A, e, maybe? Immediately it shifts and it's not a okay. work. Yes, there we go. It's an ammo up. That gives us fifty five. Here. Can you believe a great battle was won? One more. Okay. Shift and space immediately. Yes, there we go. It takes us down to fifty. Pigments left. There's a lot still to fill in. And one piece of emotional baggage. Let's keep looking. There's usually stuff going on around the outskirts, so that's a thing, so I'd actually forgotten that. It's a figment was there. Yeah, that was literally luck. I knew there was one in the trees somewhere, but yeah, I've forgotten it was specifically there.
That power up up there is more confusion grenades. Which is a very good thing, because we only have five of them. It was like Brad's just decided to throw himself completely off the platform.
Yes, more confusion grenades. That's a good thing. Even though we haven't actually used them since um, the bullfight in Black Velvetopia. It's good to have them. Anyway, yes, there is one more mental world after. And there is one more mental world, but. Entering it is a but. Restoring Lily's brain into her, which we do. Before entering the final mental world is the point of no return. So if you're playing along, any pre-game and any the stuff you want to do in the, the physical the world, i.e. the cat and the, the asylum whether it's finding and restoring the campus brains, finding the psi cards, finding the the psi challenge markers, the scavenger hunt items, arrowheads, making psi challenge markers, the board, literally all of those. Well, apart from me in making charge markers and exchanging in cobweb parts anyway. Your last, your absolute last chance to do any of that before the final game, before the final level starts, is before you return in Lily's brain. Once you do that, the, the bacon will no longer give you the option to return to the main world. Well, I say main, I mean real. The world. Neither will the smelling salts. If you use the smelling salts, they will instead return you to the into the uh, <laughs> conscience consciousness. Anyway, we're actually going to end things off here. Man, these and then next yes. time, we're actually going to explore the campgrounds one last time and find everything we have missed. I'm sure there's a few things. Anyway, if you've enjoyed the video, a like rating is very much appreciated. Hit the subscribe button down below if you haven't already. If you have been, been receiving notifications, hit the bell down below. Share the video with your friends, leave a comment, and of course, my social media information is in the description underneath the video. With that all said and done, I'll see you on Wednesday. Until then, Josh.